Back with Bruce Boudreaux and Brian Hayes. This series has two really intriguing coaching stories. Paul Maurice leaves the Jets, ultimately decides to coach again in Florida. Now here he is in back-to-back -back Stanley Cup finals. While Chris Knobloch takes over at Edmonton, his first NHL head coaching job. Now he's got the best record in hockey since he took the job. Bruce, which coach is more responsible for his team making it to this year's Stanley Cup final? Well, I think for this year, if we're talking this year, Chris Knobloch, it, as it's been up to him. I mean, they were in last place when he took over here. He has got their team to play more defensive hockey. They've started playing four lines instead of the two lines and all offense uh, that they've been used to. And they've been defending so well. So he has done that. Like, I think Paul Maurice had all last year to gain this, and this year he just kept it going. He's done. They've both done superior jobs, but I think Knobloch is more uh, responsible for the Oilers being here than Paul Maurice is for the, um, Florida to be there. Yep, I, I agree. Florida was a great team. Paul Maurice has obvious, obviously done a great job all year, but they've just been riding a steady wave basically all season. Edmonton was a disaster when Knobloch showed up, and he immediately made them buy in defensively. He split up McDavid and dry settle for the majority of the time. He's made lineup changes. He's made career, courageous decisions, putting, taking Skinner out and putting Pickard in in the previous round against Vancouver, and then going back to Skinner. That takes a lot of courage to do that, especially as a rookie coach. Everything he's done so far has been aces across the board. Knobloch's your guy. Not only does Maurice have more experience, so do his players, since most of them were in the same spot a year ago. Brian, how big a factor do you think the Panthers' cup final experience from last season is going to be for them in this year's series? I think it's pretty significant, although they were so beat up and so injured last year. I think that's probably the most significant note, Gino, is that last year, we remember, Kachuk couldn't even play. Like, he was barely playing. There were a number of guys that were really lagging. They are relatively healthy for this deep into the playoffs right now. I think that's significant. They're healthy, and they saw it up close and personal. They understood Vegas had to continue to rise. They continued to elevate their game. So I do think there is something to experience. It's not the be-all and end-all, but I think it is significant. It's something that they can look across the ice and realize McDavid's never done it. Drysaddle's never done it. Bouchard's never done it. Skinner's never done it. Knobloch's never done it. A lot of youth in terms of the cup final in Edmonton's side of things. Not so much in Florida. I think it definitely benefits the Panthers. By the way, the last team to lose in back-to-back -back Stanley Cup finals, that was the Bruins back in 1977 and 1978. The Oilers are going to do their best to make that happen again this year.